Remember in 2016 when John Key quit a couple of weeks shy of Christmas? I look forward to seeing you in, uh, in life and maybe a role outside of being Prime Minister. At the time I was like, what a fucking hero. Who hasn't gotten to the end of December and thought, fuck it, I'm quitting my job, I'm picking up a slag of Hagen and I'm going to the beach. Now officially it was because he wanted to spend more time with his family and give enough lead time into the 2017 election to whoever became the next national leader. As it turned out it was Wurzel Gummidge. But we knew otherwise, John Key had done what so many of us dream of doing. And if there's any year that all of us would love to wrap up by doing a John Key, it's 2020. I sometimes look back at us in 2016 sharing our worst year ever memes and I think, God, you have no idea. 2020 was shit if you lived in Southland near the Matalra River. And it was a fear floodwaters might enter the building and mix with a dross, generating a poisonous ammonia gas. Shit if you lived around Lake Oho. It looks like a nuclear bomb has gone off. Shit if you were employed by Rio Tinto. The company says shutting down would result in a thousand job losses directly. It was shit if you were an indigenous person of any kind. Why a country that has so much abundance should we have these types of statistics? Child mortality rates for Aboriginal children double the rate for other children, double. The Skankata Nation has been under a boil water advisory for 25 years. Its chief says the situation is now so bad that the community is moving to a full-scale evacuation. And shit if you were a national stand. The Nets have taken a pounding in the electorates, haven't they? And it was a year dominated by people who fill the dictionary definition of being full of shit. The parcel of the imprensa brasileira também politizou o virus, disseminando o pânico entre a população. They beat it, they beat it. It was like front page, they beat it because they wanted to show me something. The problem is big surge in New Zealand. So, you know, it's, uh, it's terrible. We don't want that. And a lot of people seem to be taken by surprise at how suddenly everything became more urgent. We found that the estimate of the true actual number of COVID-19 cases is approximately 12 times larger than the number of confirmed reported cases. The video has raised questions about the use of reasonable force. Leading environmentalists warn 2020 may be our last chance to tackle climate change. And a lot of people became surprised by how intensely contested everything seemed to become. Why? We're not seeing the poll book off by 30,000 votes. That, that's not the what case. What did you guys do? Take it and uh, do something crazy to it? President Trump is trying to get all these people to go to jail for pedophilia, child sacrifice, and that the deep state has control of the media. What we show in feed based on what is going to be the most meaningful to people and is going to create long-term satisfaction, uh, not what's just going to get engagement or clicks today. That's Sir, a common that's misconception true, about the company. If, if that's true, Mr. Zuckerberg, how do you explain that on Monday, the second most popular post on Facebook was a Breitbart video claiming that you don't need a mask and hydroxychloroquine is a cure for COVID. But the thing is, most of this awful, terrible stuff has been bubbling away in the pot for decades, long before 2020 shot its load all over the cooktop. And this might be 2020's greatest lesson because it's the year that all of us were forced to become adults and confront our mess. In fact, we've had our noses rubbed in it. So what are we going to do? Are we going to do a John Key and head off to the beach for an early Christmas and leave someone else to clean up the mess? Or shall we take the pot off the element and turn the stove off before we all burn? Is, is that your ending? Yeah, that's it. It's a, yeah, yeah, that, that's it. No, just... no, no, no. That's too depressing. Ah, oh, I mean, it's been a pretty serious year, so... I mean, you need some jokes. People oh. aren't going to respond to this. Okay, fine, fine. All right, fine. Here, here, here try this. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Look what's happening to me. I can't believe it myself. Suddenly I'm on top of the world. Should it be somebody else? Believe it or not, I'm flying on air. Never thought I could feel so free. E -e. Flying away on a wing in a prayer. Who could it be? Believe it or not, it's just me.